We are on the former Lake Aldwell, the lake bed of the former reservoir Aldwell. So we were, a couple years ago, we would have been underwater here. And we are doing a study looking at wildlife recolonization of both of the former reservoirs, both Aldwell and Mills. And we're seeing how a whole complement of species move back into the reservoirs. And we're looking at everything from a bunch of small mammal species, um, the deer mouse and Keene's mouse, a bunch of shrews and voles. We're seeing how these guys move back into the lake bed and how they might help or hinder restoration by moving seeds around or girdling plants, killing plants. We're also looking at deer and elk and we're really curious to know how deer and elk are moving back into this brand new habitat, um, newly opened up habitat with a lot of good browse. So lots of plants in here for deer and elk to eat and we're wondering how deer and elk are going to impact the success of revegetation efforts. So we're doing studies where we're looking at browse impacts on these plants and we're also looking for scat for pellet droppings of deer and elk to see what areas they're using. I specifically am interested in looking at the, how birds will help recolonize um, mills mostly, but we're looking at Aldwell too. And so uh, we're looking at it by uh, collecting scat, looking at which seeds they're dispersing across the lake bed and uh, which seeds they are actually transporting on large wood. So um, birds travel from air vegetated areas and move out onto these floodplains and deposit scats and uh, potentially, hopefully, they will help establish new plants in these open, rocky, and sandy soils.